Hi, I'm Dr. Raphael Darvish with Skin Packable Dermatology and Cosmetic Laser Center here in Los Angeles, California. And I'm here today to discuss with you how to cure spider veins. Spider veins are those little red or little blue veins that occur most often on the legs, so they can really occur anywhere on the body. And we have two main ways we use to cure these veins. Uh, the first way is called sclerotherapy, which is the injection of a sclerosant or scarring solution into the vein. So we have a few different solutions that we use, uh, the first being sotradecol, uh, the second being polydocanol, and the third being saline. Uh, saline is not used so much anymore. Older physicians trained uh, with saline and some of them are comfortable using it and they use it, but generally um, the preferred sclerosants that are used today are going to be sotradecol and polydocanol. Uh, polydocanol has been used in Europe uh, for many, many years and recently got approved uh, here in the United States by the FDA for use. And uh, sotradecol uh, got approved uh, for use here in the United States by the FDA around three or four years ago. Uh, so the, the injection occurs by injecting the sclerosin into the vein and uh, and as you inject it, you can actually see the vein disappear. It works wonderfully, and it's been done for many years uh, throughout Europe and uh, now throughout the United States, for that, for that matter. Um, beyond uh, sclerotherapy, there is laser vein removal treatment. Uh, there's a few different lasers that remove spider veins. The, the main one that's used throughout the country is going to be the 1064 nanometer NDAG laser. Uh, there are other lasers such as the V-beam, IPL laser. There are some electrocautery devices also that help, uh, but really the main one that's used throughout the country um, and the one that I recommend to all my patients is going to be the 1064 nanometer NDAG laser. Uh, generally, with the laser treatment for veins, you treat them once a month, uh, times around five times, and you should anticipate around 85 to 90% clearance. Uh, the end result with the laser and the injection should be similar. Some patients prefer the laser because there's no needles involved. Uh, some people prefer sclerotherapy because that's the original uh, gold standard of the treatment of spider veins and they really want to uh, do that gold standard. I'm Dr. Raphael Darvish and that's a brief overview of how to cure spider veins. Thank you.